So what ended up happening with this pickup here is one of the screws ended up stripping this one, this guy right up top here. So because it's stripped, I guess there's a, a spring underneath the pickup. It's actually pushing the pickup all the way up into the strings itself. Which is not good. I don't know if you guys can see this. You can see it really well there. I'm going to take off the bridge firstly and then I'm going to try to fill in the hole where the screw goes into with uh, a piece of a popsicle stick and some glue. I'm going to let it dry. Then after it dries, I'm going to screw the, the screw back into the hole and then hopefully everything will hold and I can get this pickup down flush with the body again. So I just got the bridge off. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's this big thing here. I had forgotten that I had a, a tremel nose system set up in the back here, which made it really difficult to take the bridge off because I had to loosen everything and make sure. Anyways, I finally got it off. Now I can actually get to the pickup here. Okay, so I just got the pickup off the guitar. It is now fully detached. I took the springs out. So what I did is I went to a local dollar store and I picked up some uh, popsicle sticks, but they were all out of just regular popsicle sticks. So I got these weird ones with uh, like a chalkboard like paper on them, kind of like this. So it, it's still just a regular popsicle stick, but it has like some stuff on it that you can just like write stuff on. So I'm just gonna rip this off just so I can use the stick. I'm going to cut a sliver of this, uh, stick it into that tiny hole with a bit of just some regular um, dollar store glue. Uh, I'm told that this is actually going to be enough as long as I use something like this. A lot of people actually say to use toothpicks, but what I've been told is that the wood that are, that are usually used to make toothpicks isn't very strong, so it won't last you a very long time if you use it for this purpose. I've been told that popsicle stick wood is actually the way to go. So I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to slather it with glue, stick it in there, let it dry for about an hour, and see if that works. So I've cut a sliver of that, um, that popsicle stick, and I've covered it in some glue, but I'll put a little bit more on it. Now that it's nicely slathered, slathered up, I'm just going to stick it in the hole. I'm going to stick my wood in the hole. Hopefully some of it is going to drip down too, so that it uh, creates a nice awesome seal for it. Put it in and out to make sure all the air bubbles get out. Just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this for an hour. Then after it fully dries, I'm going to uh, cut it to the proper length with uh, a sharp tool of some sort. So it's been about an hour and a half now. It seems to have uh, dried pretty well, although there is some gap now that I see where the glue used to be. Uh, I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference. I think this will still work, um, but I don't actually know. So we'll see if that actually works out or not. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim down this uh, piece of wood so that it's flush with the inside of the body. And then hopefully that'll be good enough that when I install the pickup back on and screw it back in, uh, it should provide a nice snug fit that won't actually pull out like it was before. And so that's it. So the pickup is in. There's a nice tight fit. Now it's down as flush as it can possibly go. It's nice and sturdy. Guitar is nice and clean now because of the, I let this thing dry for an, an hour and a half, so I had nothing better to do. So I'm just going to put it back together and uh, see what it sounds like. So it's been about three or four days since I did the popsicle stick repair, um, and I feel like it's pretty solid. I mean, it, the pickup hasn't popped out again yet. Uh, I've been playing it pretty extensively since I did the repair and I did play a heavy metal gig the day after uh, I glued it and put everything back together 
and honestly I feel like it's not going to pop out again. It feels super sturdy and as long as I'm not an idiot with it, like I don't try to actually yank it out, I don't have any issues with it that I can see happening in the future. And it, it sounds great again. <laughs> So on a difficulty level of like a scale on 1 to 10, I'd say uh, doing this was probably about a 6. This is coming from somebody who hasn't really taken apart a guitar before to do any types of repairs, and I found it to be super easy. Just to get to the pickup was probably the most difficult part. Um, if you don't have a, a floating trim on your guitar and you wanted to do something like this, I'd say the difficulty would probably be about a 2 or a 3. Because let's face it, it's just simple um, arts and crafts. I had a popsicle stick, I had some basic dollar store glue, um, I used some scissors to cut off a sliver of the popsicle stick and jam it in there. It's not difficult at all. So I really hope that you guys found something useful in this. Uh, it definitely wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, and I'm pretty confident now that if I ever get an issue like this again, I'll be able to just fix it myself instead of sending it to somebody else in my town to do it for me. Thanks so much for listening, and uh, have a nice day, guys. Take care.